गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर विजेंद्र सिंह सोलंकी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आई एस आर आई पी एस अकेडमी इंदौर टूडे आई विल परफॉर्म एक्सपेरिमेंट विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड एंड द एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड ऑफ द गिवन वेस्ट वाटर सैंपल एंड एपरेटर्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट सीओ डी बॉटल विथ केप राउंड बॉटम फ्लास्क कंडेंसर हीटिंग मेंटल मेजरिंग सिलेंडर ब्यूरेट पीपेट कॉनिकल फ्लास्क बीकर वेइंग बैलेंस टिश्यू पेपर वॉच बॉटल एट्सेट्रा दिस दिस एपरेटर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ दिस एपरेटर्स सी ओ डी रजिस्टर्स सी ओ डी वायल्स विद स्टैंड पीपेड विद एलोंगेटेड ट्यूब पीपेड बल्ब वॉच बॉटल ब्यूरेट स्टैंड टिश्यू पेपर एंड कॉनिकल फ्लास्क ना आई विल कम ऑन द रियजेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट पोटेशियम डाइक्रोमेट सोल्यूशन Uh, we have required 0.25n potassium dichromate solution uh, this uh, solution can be prepared uh, by dissolving 12.25 g of potassium dichromate in one, uh, 1000 ml of water now silver sulfate solution silver sulfate uh, is generally used as a dry powder the purpose of uh, uh, adding silver sulfate powder is to avoid interference from straight chain aliphatic and aromatic compounds uh, now next reagent is mercuric sulfate dry powder uh, we uh, we will use as a powder okay uh, it is added to water sample to avoid interference from chloride okay 10 mg of H2, uh, mercuric sulfate is required per 1 mg of chloride now what is uh, now next reagent is sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid we will use it is used for acidification of water sample now uh, next is ferron indicator solution because you know that uh, each titration is based on the uh, or uh, we can perform with the help of indicator in this uh, experiment i will use uh, ferron indicator solution ferron indicator can be prepared with the help of 110 phenolphthalein monohydrate okay 1.48 uh, 5 g of 110 phenolphthalein monohydrate uh, uh, with 695 mg of uh, ferrous sulfate in the distilled water and then dilute it to 1000 ml of the solution this will be the ferron indicator and uh, ferron indicator can be used as a indicator in this experiment now what is uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate solution this is the standard ferrous ammonium sulfate solution and the concentration of this solution will be 0.25 n okay uh, how can be prepared ferrous ammonium sulfate solution ferrous ammonium sulfate solution can be prepared by weighing 98.026 g of ferrous ammonium sulfate in distilled water then adding 20 ml of concentrated h2so4 dilute it to make 1000 ml of the solution now and uh, chemical required you can see the uh, various bottles Uh, containing different types of chemicals like potassium dichromate okay ferrous ammonium sulfate concentrated sulfuric acid ferron indicator mercury sulfate silver sulfate organic free distilled water now now what is chemical oxygen demand what is the definition of the chemical oxygen demand okay you can see here the chemical oxygen demand is a measure of the oxygen required for the oxidation of organic and inorganic materials presents in a definite uh, volume of the sample or definite volume of the water using a strong chemical oxygen uh, chemical oxidizing agent in this experiment we will use potassium dichromate as a oxidizing agent now the uh, cod det determination is based on the principle that organic material in water can be oxidized by potassium dichromate in acidic solution in the presence of silver catalyst as uh, in previ uh, previously i have uh, used uh, h2so4 and silver catalyst now high value of cod indicates the higher organic uh, compound present in water sample chemical oxygen demand generally a non volume of the waste water sample is treated with the excess of acidified dichromate potassium dichromate solution we will take potassium dichromate solution unreacted dichromate is treated with standard ferrous ammonium sulfate solution using ferron indicator because uh, uh, extra no, excess potassium dichromate is treated with the ferron indicator okay now a blank titration without the water sample is performed because uh, we will compare we will compare the uh, cod value of the waste water and cod value of the blank uh, distilled water uh, we will perform the experiment with the distilled water distilled water will as as a blank solution now uh, cod of the water sample is determined from the different difference in the titer titer values 
okay tighter values uh, that is the difference between the uh, value of the uh, blank titration or uh, blank solution and the value of the waste water solution now the method can be used to estimate cod values of 50 mg or more now the ferron forms an intense red color what is the chemistry of this experiment because now in this uh, uh, reaction in this experiment the ferron forms an intense red color with the ferrous fe2 plus ferrous that is fe2 plus ions but no color with ferric fe3 plus ions okay it means the end point of this titration will be red color okay uh, in initial uh, the color will be the uh, the color will be the solution uh, green blue but after the completion of the reaction we will get red color of the solution now method is applicable the determination of cod in a ground and surface water domestic and industrial waste water cod is expressed in milligram per liter which indicates the mass of oxygen consumed per liter of the solution now i will come on the selection of the method okay there are two types of cod and uh, we can determine cod by the two different methods open reflux principle or open reflux method and closed reflux method or closed reflux principle and what is the principle of the open reflux method suitable for a wide range of waste uh, with a large sample size and this is the suitability this is the main features of the open reflux principle okay due to it higher oxidizing ability dichromate reflux method is preferred or the procedure using other oxidants uh, potassium permanganate now oxidation of most organic compound is up to 95 to 100% of this method theoretical value of this method and what is the salient feature of closed reflux principle okay this is the another method by which we can determine the chemical oxygen demand in the waste water this method is conducted with ampules and and culture tubes with pre measured reagents now measurement of sample volume and reagent volume are critical this is the uh, negative uh, negative point of this method this method is economically economical in the use of metallic salt reagent and generate smaller quantity of hazardous waste okay it means this is the suitability this is the important point of this method uh, volatile organic compounds gets completely oxidized in a closed system than the open because of longer contact time with oxidants now why measure cod uh, it means cod is used as a general indicator of water quality and is an integral part of all water quality management program okay it is the uh, water quality management programs and uh, uh, water quality management programs consider to the determination of cod in waste water because it indicate the quality of the water higher cod levels means a greater amount of oxidizable organic material in the sample which will reduce dissolved oxygen levels okay it means if value of cod cod will be higher than the water uh, water cannot uh, used uh, for the as a domestic purpose a reduction in dissolved oxygen can lead to anaerobic condition which is deleterious to higher aquatic life forms it means if quantity or the value of chemical oxygen demand is higher it means the dissolving capacity of oxygen is reduced and therefore anaerobic conditions uh, generate and which is deleterious to higher aquatic life form that is it means uh, aquatic life that is bacteria fungus and other plants cannot uh, use uh, dissolved oxygen okay the chemical oxygen demand concentration in a treated effluent should not be greater than 250 mg per liter it means it is a optimum value okay it is a limit value okay uh, 250 mg per liter if the concentration of cod in the water is 250 mg per liter then we can use uh, for a domestic purpose of the water now what is the principle of this experiment what is the principle of chemical oxygen demand okay uh, the organic matter present in sample gets oxidized completely by potassium dichromate solution because we are using potassium dichromate potassium dichromate act as a oxidizing oxidizing agent and these oxidizing agent oxidize all the organic matter into co2 and h2o this oxidation is takes place in the presence of sulfuric acid silver sulfate and mercury sulfate 
final product of organic matter is CO2 and H2 uh, as I have discussed. The sample is reflexed with non amount of potassium dichromate in the acidic medium for 2 hours. Okay? This is the main point of this experiment because without refluxing of the sample, we cannot oxidize the organic matter in the presence of oxidizing agent that is potassium dichromate. Excess potassium dichromate is determined by the titration against ferrous ammonium sulphate solution. Okay, we know and uh, in previously uh, previous I have already discussed the standard ferrous ammonium sulphate solution is used to perform this experiment. Okay, uh, the normality of the this uh, ferrous ammonium sulf sulphate solution is 0.25 n. Okay, using ferron indicator we will use ferron indicator. Okay, the dichromate consumed by sample is equivalent to the amount of oxygen required to oxidize the organic matter. It means excess dichromate is used to determine oxygen required to oxidize organic matter. Now I will come on the procedure of this experiment. Okay, we required water sample. Water sample we can collect water sample from the river. We can collect water sample from the industrial area. We can collect water sample from the pond, and uh, we can use as a water sample, and we can uh, determine uh, chemical oxygen demand of the water sample. Okay, uh, water sample you can see here the bottle of the water sample, and uh, you can see uh, a blank uh, uh, empty bottle. Okay, take 20 ml of water sample in CO bottle this is the cod bottle you can see uh, cod bottle okay having cap now water sample 20 ml water sample in uh, we will take 20 ml of water sample uh, sample in a cod bottle this is the first step first step of the procedure then a 10 ml of potassium dichromate solution a pinch of silver sulfate and mercury sulfate solution you can see here the potassium dichromate okay now in the next step in the second step uh, COD bottle, in COD bottle we will add carefully 30 ml of sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid because the acidification of the solution and then this solution is put into the COD digester. Okay, you can see the picture, uh, COD digester and uh, the solution uh, will be put uh, at 150 degree centigrade. Now, fourth step when deflexing or after the putting okay we will remove the solution from the cod digester and then cool at room temperature now this solution okay this solution that is the uh, solution or water sample okay which is collected from the uh, industrial waste area okay then uh, the uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate uh, will uh, fill in the bureau okay up to the mark then add ferron indicator ferron indicator when we will add ferron indicator the solu the color of the solution will uh, blue green okay and then this solution is titrated with ferrous ammonium sulfate solution standard ferrous ammonium sulfate solution normality of ferrous ammonium sulfate uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate solution is 0.25n okay when water sample is titrated with the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution we will get a reading okay and uh, the end point of this uh, of this reaction end point of the this reaction it means when uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate is adding with the uh, water sample we will get end point and the color of the end point will be reddish brown now i will come on the observation table of this experiment okay Obs uh, observation table uh, you can see in the observation table here okay uh, uh, there are uh, many columns here okay uh, sample volume of sample we will uh, take volume of sample in milliliter then uh, burette reading initial we will take initial reading and final reading uh, initial reading will be 0, 0.00 ml and the final reading is depends on our experiment okay when we i will perform experiment i will get a reading and this reading uh, will put in this uh, column okay then we will get volume of uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate okay uh, volume of fer ferrous ammonium sulfate that is 0. Uh, uh, 0.25 n uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate is here okay and uh, uh, final reading uh, uh, when we uh, subtract uh, final and uh, final minus initial then we will get the volume of uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate Okay, and this experiment uh, generally uh, this experiment uh, performed till when we get to concordant reading. When we uh, we get to same reading or concordant reading. Now, what is the calculation of this experiment? Chemical oxygen demand. Okay, uh, here you can see the formula A minus B into N into eight into one thousand upon volume of water sample taken, where 
कैपिटल ए रिप्रेजेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ टाइट एंड यूज अगेंस्ट ब्लैंक बिकॉज आई हैव डिस्कस वी विल परफॉर्म टू एक्सपेरिमेंट टू एक्सपेरिमेंट वन एक्सपेरिमेंट विल परफॉर्म विद द स्टैंडर्ड और विद वेस्ट वाटर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द वेरियस सोर्सेज एंड अनादर एक्सपेरिमेंट विल परफॉर्म विद डिस्टिल वाटर ओके देर इज डिस्टिल वाटर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज वी कैन से वी कैन कॉल ब्लैंक एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके द वैल्यू ऑफ एंड ए ए वॉल्यूम ऑफ टाइट एंड यूज अगेंस्ट ब्लैंक ओके कैपिटल बी वॉल्यूम ऑफ टाइट एंड यूज अगेंस्ट सैंपल ओके सैंपल इट मीन्स वी हैव कलेक्टेड द सैंपल ऑलरेडी एंड द कैपिटल एंड रिप्रेजेंट द नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ टाइट एंड नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ टाइट एंड इट मीन्स फेरा सामोनियम सल्फेट सोल्यूशन नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ फेरा सामोनियम सल्फेट सोल्यूशन एंड कैपिटल वी वॉल्यूम ऑफ सैंपल टेकन ओके वॉल्यूम ऑफ सैंपल टेकन इट मीन्स इफ वी हैव टेकन ट्वेंटी एम एल ऑफ वॉटर देन वी विल पुट वॉल्यूम ट्वेंटी एम एल इफ वी हैव टेकन थर्टी एम एल ऑफ वॉटर सैंपल देन वी विल पुट थर्टी एम एल वेन वी परफॉर्म दिज एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉट प्रिकॉशन शुड बी टेकन ओके वॉट प्रिकॉशन शुड बी टेकन ड्यूरिंग दिज एक्सपेरिमेंट okay because we are using uh, uh, h2so4 concentrated h2so4 okay then the students should be aware of hazard associate with the use of all glasswares okay electrical equipments sulfuric acid is harmful by ingestion and may cause severe burns to eyes and skin it affect it affects eyes and skin okay because we, uh, we will use concentrated sulfuric acid uh, sodium thiosulfate may be harmful if ingested in quantity in quantity then may irritate eyes and skin alkaline iodide as a azide solution causes several burns burns and may be harmful if ingested magnesium sulfate solution is be harmful by ingestion and may irritate irritate eyes and skin so uh, if we are performing this experiment we should taken uh, the following precautions thank you students